All pregnant women should be screened for gestational diabetes around 28 weeks gestation. And it's important to test for this because if a woman has gestational diabetes or she had previously diagnosed type 1 or type 2 diabetes, if uncontrolled, it can cause complications like preeclampsia, blood sugar problems for the baby after delivery, stillbirth, and an abnormally large baby which has complications associated with that too. 5 to 18 percent of pregnant women develop gestational diabetes and it all goes back to insulin resistance. Insulin is the key that unlocks your body's cells so that sugar can go inside and make the cells work. And your body naturally becomes a little more insulin resistant during pregnancy so that there's enough sugar circulating in your blood so the baby gets what it needs. Normally, mothers can compensate for this by producing more insulin, but mothers who have gestational diabetes aren't able to make more insulin and so blood sugar levels rise. So testing for this, like I said, is done around 28 weeks. And what will happen is the doctor will have you drink a very sugary drink. It contains 50 grams of glucose, and then they'll test your blood sugar an hour later and see how your body responded. If you get a value of 130 to 140, then you may have gestational diabetes and the doctor will want to do a follow-up test. If the value you get on your first test is 200 or higher, then you just have gestational diabetes, but they may still want to do follow-up testing. And in both cases, it's doing a three-hour glucose tolerance test. This is done when you're fasting, and then you drink double the amount of sugar. It's a 100-gram glucose sugar drink. And then they test your blood sugar every hour for three hours and see what it is. And then based on those values, they determine if you truly have gestational diabetes or not. If the diagnosis is made, then there's a couple of different ways to manage it. And it's super important to keep your blood sugars under control so that you don't have the complications I discussed before. The management plan is going to be dependent on how severe your case is. And um, for a lot of women, it just involves some diet changes and exercise. Um, for other women, it involves taking oral medication. And for about 15% of women with gestational diabetes, it has to be controlled with insulin. And you may start out just needing um, to make a few diet changes. And then as the pregnancy progresses, so do your body's needs and, and so do your baby's needs. And so that may change the plan as well. So you could start out being diet controlled and then you may end up with oral medication or with insulin. So this speaks to the importance of consistent monitoring. A diabetic educator will meet with you and talk to you about your treatment plan and also tell you how often you should be monitoring your blood sugars. They'll take a peek at your values each week and based on that, determine if additional changes in your treatment plan are necessary. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.